how to update uh, results templates. So immediately after uh, you uh, create a new template, okay, uh, it will show the uh, result template, okay. So in the result template, you cannot be able to uh, edit uh, the way you want uh, the template uh, for the results to look like. Okay, so here you have a, a predefined uh, defined uh, uh, templates here, yeah? so you can remove, you can edit. Okay, so um, the, and also uh, most importantly, uh, this is where you add your subject for a particular class. Okay, so this uh, result template is for uh, GSS one, for example. Okay, so whatever a uh, class that the template belongs to, you can be able to you know, add uh, the subjects that the class or the classes offers. Okay, so let's say for example, I want to add uh, computer science. I want to add computer science. Okay, so most importantly, yeah, ensure that you are typing uh, the capital letter so I can add subject uh, to uh, this uh, uh, result template okay so you add all the necessary uh, subjects one by one here okay then these are uh, other you know, assessments that you can also you can remove if, if uh, you don't want some of them or you can edit them or you can also add more okay to it okay so let's see uh, let's see We have add working, so let's say uh, add working. Sorry, working. So you add, yes, yeah, so you can see that add working has been added, or maybe you want to uh, remove some of the assessments. You can click on uh, the remove icon, okay? So remove, say yes. To be removed okay so you can also uh, edit so maybe you want to uh, edit uh, some of these so you can just click on let's say for example you want to edit neatness maybe you want to change some of that thing or maybe uh, you know just to update whatever information you have so really you are true uh, neatness okay so you can update you know uh, any of this okay then these are the uh, the key and the traits that we use, you know, to identify each of these assessments of a particular uh, student. Okay, so here also you can edit, you, know, you can change your grading. Okay, so if you click on edit, so you can change your grading. So if uh, maybe uh, you know, some school use, uh, you know, different different uh, identities, you know, identifier for the grading, you can change it, and uh, you can, so when you are true, you can click on updates, and uh, all the changes will be updated, okay, so you can add more to this uh, right hand side here, at the top, uh, you can add more, okay, so that is that, also, what you can also do here is, uh, on these result templates, if you don't want to add uh, the, the signature, okay, uh, maybe you want to add it once, so if you add it on the templates, then it will show on all the, all the results, you know, that you are going to use this result templates to be able to, uh, you know, to generate results for this particular class. So, when you, when you add your signature here, uh, make sure you, you you can sign on your clean white uh, paper. You can scan it or use your camera to snap it or crop it. Okay, and make sure that it's showing properly. So I'm just using this picture as an example. So after browsing your system, you select wherever it is, then you click on update uh, signature. So this signature will then appear in all the uh, all the uh, 
results that you're going to use this step is uh, to generate. Okay, so uh, if you also want to access maybe uh, later uh, in the day or in the week, you want to access in this uh, result template after you have created it. Remember, you can access it by coming to view stroke edit here. So edit result template and you can click on you know edit stroke view to be able to edit uh, that uh, particular uh, template okay so that is how you um, uh, update and uh, you know update and also add subjects uh, to your uh, result template and as well as you know add signature as well uh, to the results uh, template. So when you're not true with this, you can then be able to use this template to generate the results for the uh, first term uh, 2021 to 22 section and the uh, GSS one class. Okay, so see you in the next video.